Right, so you're at the supermarket with this extremely loud plane, okay? Mm -hmm. You see, uh, like you, the, you're there to get detergent, all right? You see this bottle of detergent, okay? Now, the direct bottle of the detergent, you got like fucking Blam and Zing, or whatever those mm -hmm. are detergents. The Zing. Yeah, you know. And you see this one, okay? Now this detergent is a very good brand of detergent, okay? There's only one problem. It's called Wank. Mm -hmm. Okay? What do you do? I buy it. I give a fuck. Wrong answer. I do not care. <laughs> Unless you were selling it, then I'd know something's really off with it. <laughs> Otherwise, I just assume it's like some Chinese brand that they've like directly translated and it turns into wank. And it's plus it's hilarious. It's the wrong answer. The correct deranged mind answer is you start wanking immediately. Ah, oh, right. I mean, that's assuming I wasn't already wanky with the supermarket. <laughs> Which is wrong. Thank <laughs> you. I love it when people take the literal things of it. Like, like a couple of weeks ago, at this point, fucking JonTron made a funny tweet. <laughs> Where, like he took the turd. Like there was a turd called like yell or something, uh -huh. and then he just yelled. <laughs> it was hilarious. Taking things literally. Where's his coffee burns? You may call your first witness, Mister Edgeworth. The Rosalind calls Mr. D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in Studio 2 trailer that day. What did I just say? What did I just say? Seriously, I do not know, says I. Edgeworth. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studio. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. Is everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. There will be no pontificating here. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the tale of the sneeze. <laughs> God damn it. Look. This is the serious moment of Sprite. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was a her rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Cell take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take the van. Hmm? The van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with all that monkey's head toppling over. You get a fucking van as evidence. Brewing game, best game, best game. I think van's been used as best evidence game, a lot of times. <laughs> this is fucked. Anyway, so fucking... Ugh. How do I uh... L. Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Are you always this tense? Yes. Ugh. I'm gonna go up and walk through in advance just in case. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
That's too far. And what exactly was that? Uh, sorry, I'm just, uh, getting this settled. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think it would be between those times. <clears throat> Hold on. Your cell take you? What does that mean? Well, we know that. I had cell take me in the studio too bad. Ugh. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> was a 15 minute break. Do you have someone who can verify this? Phoenix is very tired. Cell? No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. This one is fucked up. Yeah, you're not gonna get this because we fucking talked over it like a bunch of idiots. Do we? Yeah. Where are we? You got two pages. You want me to tell you? Sure. No, you know what? I'll give you one minute to figure it out. You've pressed all you can, so... Statement, stake plate. In the employee room? Yeah. But why? We give up, people. Yeah, I think I had trouble on this one, too. Huh, as I thought. You claim you had a T-bone steak? I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate! The plate is on the table in the employee area. You can see a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember if you will. That's where some Mr. Vanilla ate at the table outside the trailer. No bird left in the plates. No <sighs> birds of them. That's squares? Tell me, how can a person eat a tea bone steak and not leave the bone? Why don't we have the plates from the trailer as evidence? Yeah, I do not know. You didn't need steak. <laughs> you ate the bone. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit dumb. I, I see! And what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Smoking PCP. Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <laughs> I wish you'd pick Pinky or Salmonella. It's me, the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying? 
task is left to try later to stake. She ran into the steel samurai. And then you did it. It's not gonna be that simple. You man. killed him with your own hands. Mr. M Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was, worrying you that you would be boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, this samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use a heavy spear as a weapon? What is it? I don't think. See, I know the answer. I think you'll agree to the difficulty you said a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. You see? Yeah. No, oh, but that's no bearing in this case. Meaning? Samurai spear is not the murder weapon. Da da da! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body! I have proof, Your Honor. I can, I can prove this samurai spear is not used as a murder weapon. You got this, don't you? You know what happened to you, don't you? Because it has the break? Wait, you seriously picked that without knowing? What? You, you picked that without knowing? The answer? Yeah. What the fuck, Phil? Is that right? No. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> uh... Would be the camera that showed... No! no, no. Christ! I don't know. Well, you can't back out of this. You have to pick something. Yeah, no shit. Um, well, it says pierce through the chest by a spear and the autopsy will fall. Yeah, a spear. Yeah, that's a samurai spear. Yeah, but it's not the murder weapon, is it? Oh, God, you're But it is a spear. Idiot. It's a fucking spear. The fence, idiot! Oh, what? The five-year-old photo! The fence! Yeah, that killed that guy before. Well, who said it didn't kill him again? How, how would you just assume that someone died five years ago in a particular way... It is a spear! ...and then he died again? From that way. That has, has a logical leap to make. It is a spear! It's a fence! Yeah, a fence that is pointy like a spear! The fence is already broken. Well, it broke again. But I haven't said anything yet. Oh wait, no, it actually was a samurai spear. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Never mind. Here's the real evidence. You are a fucking knob, you know that? Well, okay, I'm getting my events confused. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. But, but that is the murder one. Not so fast. Listen, this game's long. <laughs> And you're yeah. a fool. Yeah. Although, remember that from the spear broke during yeah. the morning action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. It's the next one that's the fence, I think. She fixed it with a duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stop a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Yeah, the next one's the fence. Like, I got it wrong. Yeah, you did. This walkthrough is fucking amazing. Okay? Cause guess what? What? Okay, so I am right, it is the uh the the, the photo, okay? But like the walkthrough itself even states that this is an absurd claim. 
okay? Like it says, it's it's present it. the five-year-old photo to back up this absurd claim. Yeah, see, you know what? I think the se I think if I'm remembering correctly, the second and third game is, it's a lot better at doing this sort of stuff because, like, it's on the first page. Because, like, uh, I, f I feel like it just would be the photo first, you know? No, this video makes perfect sense because it's fucking broken. He's got a break in it, so you couldn't use it to stab someone. Yeah, I know, but no, I think in the second and third <laughs> game, <coughs> you don't have to... I'm trying to remember this. I don't... The basically, presenting the, the spear first is bullshit, okay? It should be photo, then spear. Okay? Mr. Wright! What is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. I like how my blundering accidentally spoils the puzzles for you. This is a photo of the very accident. And the word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret in studios. What does it have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. You still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post piercing through the chest? What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Happened again. Ba ba ba. Has happened again. <laughs> what was that sprite? Mr. Wright, continue. At 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder, the city by Squares beats Jack Howard. I saw she was Then she did it. She puts Mr. Hammer over the, over the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer died himself five years ago. So whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Look at that fucking grin. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Yes, it is ironic. Fucking irony is cruel. I could use it meant like ho ho ho. Yeah. Ho ho ho. It's like peel off. We discussed this before. You deny what I say is true. <sighs> Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died as the trailer at you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And then the evil magistrates cost you no less. Are you then claiming I carried the body to Studio One? Obvious. And return the trailer in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting of the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried at Studio One, placed inside his costume? Edgeworth can't talk. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright. How could she have dealt with the body? Other than with her own hands. For, for instance, I don't know. Actually, for that matter, there's no de no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. But was there? Uh, how did she carry the body? In a giant van. It's about squares. You carry the body to Studio One and you use the studio van to do it. No shit. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Like, it, it's just weird how it goes from the logic of the T-bone steak and then the logic of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say so. Recall your testimony. Also, the logic of remembering things wrong and accidentally spoiling the puzzle. I'm a bit salty about that. <laughs> anyway. I think it's funny because I usually fuck up all the time in this and that's the one time you actually fucked up pretty hard. Yeah. It was a van to carry the body to do one. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Salmonella that drove the van. There's a fucking cardboard bag here. I'm gonna kick it. Of 
floor somewhere that has something in the conspirator. Body has to be placed in there and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done it alone. Also, don't forget that disposer is still a samurai costume. It had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Yeah, burned. Oh, Vasquez. Shall I continue? You got a fucking smug look. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. Is that too sweet? I don't think it is. Um, so, what happens next? <laughs> That's a meta joke. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that? I just said that. Wait, wait, so you mean... The Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. This is fucking awkward. Who can say? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright? We just engaged in a battle of wits. In the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Wah, 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 wah. What? Well, you need to fucking put more effort in your watts. Like, what? You know, like that. I'm afraid my watch. Um, me. Of course it's a witness. Is that the witness says? Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there, there, there's no proof. You gotta present proof. Don't make me fucking go back. Which one? Uh, what the fuck could we present to show she killed him? Well, that really depends if you pick an option. I don't think we have anything that shows that she actually killed him. further questions uh well uh in the event of wasting time <laughs> it's not that <laughs> yeah i prefer you pick the correct option okay well i think it's you did it that's good no okay just pick testify for the fact that why like why would it be either of those two I don't want to listen to fucking testifying again. Oh, is that why? Because you're just bored. Okay, fucking great. <laughs> this is the last testimony though, so... I ain't giving you any hint for this one. All right. You gotta say questions, you gotta say answers. That's your line. Yeah, that waste of time. time. Damn, damn. I think you would have lost there though. Let me see. Does the wolf say what would have happened if God you picked damn, it? Goddamn, that would have been so fucking shit. Yeah. Well then we can't even talk anyway. Huh? I'm sorry, I was checking. It's the, the judge just said we, we have to end the cross-examination of the witness. Oh. Oh wait, you could have picked anything. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. God damn it. So I wasted time by looking at a wall. I forget how this game works. Does this make any sense to you? I don't see we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. 
Mr. Edworth, I too see little point in making Mr. Vasquez repeat herself. Mr. Okay. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. Ugh, I'm tired. This is why I'm blundering. Why is he suggesting this? This makes no sense. You'll find out later. Nick. Wine and Edworth. Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but... Well, there's only one that says you went in and you'll be that. After all that. Okay, look. How about this? We stop using the walkthrough. Huh. Unless we really need it. Well, I haven't really needed it. Good point, but I stopped talking either. It's, I've actually had the right answer, but you just sent me a drift. Yeah, I sent you a drift because I remember this game completely wrong. I do not remember anything about case four. Okay, so... Is this case four? No, this is case three. The next one's case four. I remember the plot of case four. I don't remember the puzzles. So, you know what? I will not need it. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I then went home. Kazoo. Please don't find out. <laughs> the poor Kazoo's already been through the fucking ringer. <laughs> right! Isn't this just the best session ever? It's fun. We've had fights, what we've yelled. That? We were at the 5 o'clock rehearsal for. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. This is my dying kazoo. When I die, I'm gonna make sure that I... You're gonna bring everyone down with you? Well, yeah, that. I'm gonna make sure I say my, my final words through a kazoo so that no one understands them. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny if no one was there to hear them, though. So you still did it through a kazoo. Eh, no one will be there to hear them anyway. Anyway, so fucking... What exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive in the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Da -da -da. What were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put a hammer in that costume if someone else helped. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy, you should try and listen. It's about to take a nap, right? So he says... Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us. Yet you expect me to be calm? <sighs> uh, yeah. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murder body, and one person is missing, right? When you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez! Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps, but no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, that is still samurai costume, and Powers doesn't really stand out. That's a lie. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Hmm. Well, 
I suppose that explains very well, Mr. Vasquez. You may continue. Papa. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Perry finally arrived on this scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. Silence. Hey, hey, hey. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. The security lady. Oh, I read that. Why security lady think that hasn't done it? She said it was because he saw him going towards the studio. The detective arrested Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's work. Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I have heard this out after the fact. He's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to. Did you ask you left out? Yes. It seems that everyone was to, was good. Never mind. I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. Screen cap that. But not so you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thanks to me, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. They covered for us. Direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't. God damn it, not again. I lost it. It's not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. You didn't know that. That, that, uh. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. What a twist this is. Fucking yeah. Edgeworth, my boy. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Are you thinking of a career change to defense? I, I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood it. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sell. He told me. Ugh. Okay, so the statement is pretty much the last one. But the one that she just added. So, yeah. Is 
Isn't there one more? No. Yeah, I think so. No? Well, it's pretty obvious what the hell it is. You know? Do you not get it? No, 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 no. Fuck, I didn't mean that. Give me a sec, man. Let me just think about it. I don't know. I got it pretty fast on my first time. Well, you've been telling me all the wrong answers, so I'm not going to listen to anything you You know said. what? You probably are right there. <laughs> you get it now, don't you? It's something to do with this photo. Really? You don't... Fucking give me a sec, man. Okay, I won't, I won't say a word. I'm just going to tell you the hint of look carefully. Thank you. Look carefully and you will know. This music shouldn't be going on for this long. <laughs> no, Wrong button? Mm. Yeah, okay. Just... I think it's that last statement. Well, obviously. It's the one that was just added. No, that wasn't added. The hammer one? He d she did another one. That wasn't there. Yeah, the hammer one. That's the last one. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she said it another one. I think it's this one. Try oh. it. How many, ch how many chances do I get? Uh, you've got all, so, you know. <laughs> you knew that Hammer was injured. Do you think it's a little funny? I mean, it was still Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself! Yes, Mr. Hammer's dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he's pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pre pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. The person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Eh. Yeah. I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That, that's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Malinello was at the run through this morning. You would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. You saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Was it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember... Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He pretended to be Mr. Powers. And when was he doing this? Well... Would it appear to... No, wait. I did it. I went to the studio too, where he was murdered. That was that whole text box. That whole text box was. Da -da 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 -da. Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the still summer Olympic. And Mr. Hammer is in the still summer suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who'd be injured that morning. Ba ba ba! Rubble, rubble, rubble. Order, order! I will have order! Where is my fries? Can you refute this claim? <laughs> Very well. I have a question for you. Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he's fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? There is a reason it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? 
In other words, can you prove you had a motive? Of course I can. No idea, but I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence. Evidence? Uh, it could be the photo. Probably not. Uh, Maybe you don't have evidence. I was thinking about that script. Um, well, I think you do have evidence, yeah. We've already used that evidence, and you don't usually use evidence twice. No, you do. Do you? Remember, you did in the last trial. No, I didn't know. This is my proof. Reveals the motive in this murder. Exclamation point. I'm right on Miss Vasquez. <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammers at the heart of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help and a horrible, t terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case is currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, the accident precipitated? Participated. No. Yes, participated. Pre precipitated. Precipitated, Mr. Hammer's fall. It's fall from starter. His guilt laid him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, you used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. You used him like a tool! <laughs> what? What? Oh, I thought he was saying he was like Mr. Hammer or something. That was really confusing. Undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the ex star. You used him like a tool. What? We are talking about motives here. You have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way round. What motive would Mr. Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me, and I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain. Okay. Well, we just did that. Oh god. Okay, well. This is my proof. Let's hope it takes you back to that menu. Because <laughs> if I remember correctly, in the DS games, please find your marbles. Okay, well, that was a fuck up. Yeah, it's. she had no motive. Really? Yeah. You picked the wrong one. She had no motive, Your Honor. It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. Uh, okay. All Miss Vasquez did was push him upstairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. I mean, she could have just fucking said that. You know, I'm sort of glad it took you back to that menu. Because in the DS version, if I remember correctly, it took you back to the evidence version. Oh, God. Which means you're basically fucked if you pick that option. That's so shit. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the silk samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to full security lady thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. What purpose you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Not the pipe! So you did it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me.
She doesn't even have like a an actual breakdown. She just breaks her pipe, sort of. Manuel. Manuel? Is that what it's pronounced? Mm. No. Oh. It's a little sad. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. Where's the Aussie now? He was Aussie before. And also, it's an easier accent to do than to differentiate British voices. Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Little Powers was innocent. That he should be found is... Uh, is uh, well, nah. <laughs> Call this episode the session of Tired Edgeworth. Like that case as well. It actually tied together really well at the end. I was still so confused about why he dressed up and still samurai. Yeah. That's a good case. I like it. I'm gonna check the time. I I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why Mr. Hammer want to blame me? You can show evidence here. Because why? This, he was jealous. Because he was still samurai. That was a big start once. Introduced acting in a kid's show. And it's a villain to boot. Kids love to steal samurai. So he hated you. I, I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. Yeah, you can just change the major characters in the show, no worries. Imagine just changing the hero to the villain in the show, just like switching roles halfway through it. You can make that work. <laughs> Shit, that'd be a really interesting concept. Well, there's a lot of ways you can make that work, actually. If it's a casual view, it'd be really confusing. Like, it's like Wife Swap, but for fucking TV it's villains. Still summarized. <laughs> no. Can I get an autograph? Ah. Is that what you're gonna say? Nick Edgeworth. You got fucking there. brilliant hair. Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that's too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No. I really want to thank you. That's guess wouldn't go the way of you instead, dude. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Our uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Ah, uh, there we go. Right? I must say, I ain't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better if we had not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Feelings? See, like, this is where the fucking fan fiction fuck? comes in. Is he trying to fuck? No, but like, the way it's worded... Aren't uh, this kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? I will put my dick in your bum. <laughs> <laughs> that is a promise. That is my promise.
That was so stupid. What the hell was that? that I'm not even going to fucking kazoo to that one. Oh, maybe a little. Only the first <laughs> note. Maybe a little. Only the first note, though. <laughs> there. But now we are, I guess. Why do I get with you? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edward? Oh, fuck's sakes. So the curtain closed another trial. It was quite a stir, but I revealed an accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making the kid shows again. Pink Princess! Just like everyone said. This is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? You have to buy training cards too, okay? We have to train with Coney and an assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it just great that WP gets to play the lane again? <laughs> I forgot about that part. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. As it was ready for the real, real powers. Real will powers. God damn it, you. Hooray! Let's not do case four right now. No fucking way. <laughs> 